Hey girly, welcome to my video. In this video, I'm going to be doing three makeup looks with one palette and I'm going to be using the Morphe 3503 Fierce by Nature palette. I create makeup tutorials and my name is Emily if you're new, so don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified when I post a new video. The first shade I'm going to be using for this look is called the OG and I'm using the JH32 brush by Morphe and Jaclyn Hill and I'm doing circular motions all over my crease just to smoke this color out and also you guys I have a little X on every color that I'm using throughout this whole video so you guys can see what shade I'm using. Next I'm going in with the shade Domination and I'm using the E17 brush by Morphe as well and i'm gonna be focusing this only on my crease i'm not gonna take this upwards like the other shade so just mainly focus on that area and if you can use tapping motions it makes it a lot easier now i'm using the jh32 brush again this is the first brush that i used and i'm just gonna be blending this in circular motions so that those two colors mix together and we get a smokier effect also the longer you blend the better results you're gonna get if you want to watch any of the other makeup looks first, there's a timestamp down below. Just click on that time and it'll take you directly to that mini tutorial. Now I'm taking the shade Mesmerize and I'm using the number 15 brush from Sephora. And I'm going to be applying this all over my lid. I'm mainly going to be focusing on the bottom area of my lid and I'm going to start dragging the brush upwards onto my crease a little bit so that the colors blend together. Now I'm spraying with the Urban Decay Setting Spray. I'm using the glittery eyeshadow called Make Believe and I'm using a random brush to apply this. It's very glittery and sparkly so you might want to be careful to not make a mess. And I'm not going to be applying large amounts, just a little bit. Now I'm taking the shade Trance and I'm applying this on my brow bone. And make sure after you apply this on your brow bone, you take a fluffy brush. I'm using the JH32. This was the first brush that I used just to buff it out and so we don't leave any harsh lines. And I'm also going to be applying the shade on my inner corner of my eyes. This step is completely optional, but I'm taking my Believe Beauty Concealer and I'm just going to sharpen out that outer area of my eyeshadow because I like to have that cat eye effect. For my under eye, I'm going to be using the shade Domination and it's the same brush and I'm just going to buff this out just to make it as smoky as possible. And that is the end of the first look. Please let me know in the comments down below if you guys like this look. Welcome to the second part of this video. Thank you for making it this far. I'm going to be starting with the shade Unstoppable and I'm using the JH31 brush and I'm going to be buffing this out all over my crease and I'm only using a small amount of this shade because it can get very messy and it's a very, very bright pink. If you're enjoying these tutorials so far, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you can see more tutorials. And I also do business videos because I own a small cosmetic line and I sell some lip glosses. If you're interested in looking at that, please subscribe now. Now I'm going back in with the shade Unstoppable again, but I'm slowly building up the intensity because I don't want to make a mess with this bright color. Now I'm taking the shade Warning Label and I'm using the JH40 brush and I'm applying this only on the crease. I'm not taking this upwards because I want this area to be brighter than the top. Now I'm taking the JH31 brush again with the shade Unstoppable but with no product and I'm just going to blend the two shades together. Now I'm taking the shade Full Blast and I'm using a Wet n Wild flat brush. I'm applying this all over my lid and I'm going to mainly focus on the bottom area of my lid and then I start applying it to the top where my crease is at just so that those two colors blend together. And I'm going to be mixing that shade with the shade Inferno and I'm going to be applying this just on top of it so that it gives it a more metallic pink shade to it. And now I'm going in with the brush JH40 and I'm just going to blend those two shades together. After that, I'm going in with my concealer again and I'm going to create that sharp look at the outer area of my eye. Like I said, this is optional. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. I prefer to have that cat eye look, but if you don't want it, it's fine. Now I'm just going to tap this lightly with my finger and I'm going to set it with the Urban Decay Translucent Powder. 
Now I'm taking the shade Tempton and I'm using the JH42 brush for my brow bone and I'm gonna be applying this here and also on the inner corner of my eye. Now I'm taking the shade Warning Label and I'm using it under my eye. So I'm just gonna be blending this side to side and I'm gonna make sure that it looks as smoky as the top of my eye. For the final step, I'm using the Urban Decay Eyeliner and I'm doing this off camera because I was having a hard time doing it while I was recording. <laughs> So yeah guys, this is the second look. I hope you guys enjoyed it and stay tuned for the third one. Give this video a thumbs up if you're enjoying these mini tutorials. For the third look, I'm going to be using the shade Trans and I'm going in with the M441 brush by Morphe. And I'm going to be buffing this out all over my lid. For this look, I'm using a piece of tape. This is from KJ Lashes. And I'm going in with the shade Savage and the brush M573. I'm going to be applying this on my lid but mainly on my outer corner of my eye and slightly above my crease. Now I'm using the shade Ignition and I'm using the JH33 brush and I'm applying this only on my lid but I'm still letting the shade Savage peak at the top area. After you use this shade, we're going to go back in with the previous brush which we used the shade Savage with and I'm going to be using this just to blend those two shades together. Now I'm going in with the pencil brush and I'm using the shade Smoked Out this is the brush M321, this is also by Morphe, and I'm going to blend this out as if I'm applying eyeliner. Just like if we were using eyeliner, but it's eyeshadow. That's what the tape is for if you need help at that outer area. I'm using the JH33, the brush that we used Ignition for, and I'm just going to use that to blend the shades out. Now I'm taking the eyeliner from Maybelline and I'm going to be drawing a small line almost as if I was doing my regular eyeliner but we're going to blend this out with the black shade smoked out that we previously used. After I removed my tape from my eye and I'm going to be blending this out and if I have any fallout it's okay because I'm going to be using my concealer to clean the outer corner out again just to get a sharper look as you guys can see that I'm doing it right now. Once that area is cleaned out, I'm going to be using a pencil eyeliner just to intensify the black. And this one is from Italia Deluxe. I'm going to be putting this all over my waterline at the top and also on the bottom. Be careful not to poke your eye please because it can be very painful. After that off camera, I did go back in with the shade Smoked Out and I went in with the M321 brush and I just used it to blend out the black on the bottom of my eye. And right now I'm just using the shade Trans at the top of my brow bone and I'm just using this to give it that extra pop of color and on my inner corner of my eyes as well. Also, if you guys were wondering, these lashes are from KJ Lashes, the ones that I used throughout this whole video on all three looks. So yeah guys, this is pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give me a like and comment down below if you guys enjoyed this video. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next video.